To sum up this iPad in a couple words is this is a crazy versatile tool. I use it to browse at cafes, edit photos, teleprompter for clients, sign documents, use it as a coffee coaster, morning QT meditation, guitar chord tuner, music sheet, YouTube machine, keep the kids still at any second I want, slate for production, note taking during meetings, reference monitor for filming, anything PDF, watching movies in the bed, watching movies in the toilet, gaming for the kids, a baby monitor, laptop second monitor. I, I could just keep going for like the next 10 minutes uh, talking about how I use this thing. Can this thing actually replace a computer? No, and it wasn't meant to because this thing's meant to make Apple crap loads of money. Why would they replace their MacBook line with this when they can sell you this and this? So like idiots like me go, oh, I need a laptop to get work done. Then I go out and buy an iPad and be like, I need an iPad because I need to like touch the screen. That's why there's no touchscreen Max. Have you noticed that? So what is it for? If you are a freelance creative, a photographer, videographer, you must, you must get this thing. And here's why. You're at a cafe and you want to send a quick email. Oh, let's take out the laptop. Let's take out the laptop. Nah, it's way too big. So let's just use my phone, yeah? My phone? Too small. The iPad? Just right. You're at a different cafe and you want to write a script real quick. iPad. Your kid's going psycho, rolling on the floor. iPad. Need a client monitor real quick to increase your production value? iPad. I'm the type of person that used to always want the latest and greatest. But recently a switch flipped in me, I think especially when I started running a business and realized you can't just keep blowing money like that. The amount of improvements, it just doesn't justify that cost. And so I've stuck around with this 2018 iPad and I'm still using it. And the reason why I can't replace it is because it still works. It still gets the job done. But in all fairness, I haven't actually tested it against like the M1 iPad. I wouldn't mind with a bit more speed, but is it worth an extra $2,000? I don't know. Yo. What's up? Really urgent. I don't know if you know, but I'm like a YouTuber now with my whopping 200 subscribers. Cause I've been using my iPad Pro for like five years and I want to compare it to like the, the, like the newer one. Can I borrow it for like a day? Yeah. It's not even that new though. I bought it like a year and a half ago, didn't I? Well, but it's, but it's newer than yeah. fi a five-year-old iPad Pro. Yeah. <laughs> Just picked up the iPad. That was awesome. Got to meet Frank. I mean, I've already met him, but I got to actually catch up with Frank, which was cool. All right, let's get home and do the test. Majority of this video is about how amazing this iPad is, how versatile it is and all that stuff, because I genuinely believe so. But I think I should also cover some things that kind of suck about the iPad. So file management, like copying stuff and moving files around, it's just, ah, it's just clunky. It sucks, it feels very limited, and it's not something that you want to do on an iPad. Another thing that sucks is just not utilizing the, the performance that's inside the iPad. Like, it's just like the software is five years behind. And if your software is five years behind, what's the point? Might as well buy an iPad that's five years old because it's like, it could, they both do the same thing. I would like to see apps like Audition, um, Premiere Pro if possible. So, how is this iPad Pro holding up after five years of just pure abuse? Pretty good, actually. In fact, I'm gonna do a quick battery check right now to see how many charge cycles I did and what the degradation has been. Give me a sec. It's done approximately 503 charge cycles and dropped it down to 85% battery health. I do feel that the battery isn't as good as it used to be, so ever since 2018, when I got this iPad Pro, I've used it primarily for photo editing. The main test that I wanna do with the M1 iPad Pro is to see the difference in terms of photo editing. There is no science behind this test. I'm just, I'm just gonna just do the editing the way I normally do it. Go right, right, left, left. Look at that, kind of the same speed at the moment. Another thing I wanna test is um, 
Spotlight, because Spotlight seemed to be quite a bit slow on this. Not yet. Now I can open it. Huh! YouTube. It, you can just open it right away. Thing that does take a while is subject selection. So let's actually do that right now. One, two, three. That's done. No! 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 That's not right. All right, let's just, let's try to do the sky. Subject selecting sky. One, two, three. That's done. Why did I do this test? I shouldn't have done this test. Now, now, now I, I, I need this. The whole point of this video was to say, you don't need to buy a 2018 iPad in 2023 because the 2023 iPad is not that fast. They're both basically the same crap. It won't change your workflow whatsoever. Let's go to subject select. Bam! This thing's just like, woohoo! Paste. Subject select. Next photo, paste. Subject select. It's this thing. Ah! Oh. I'm gonna stop this video. Stop it. Cut. I was hoping for a different outcome. I'll be honest. The difference that I saw with this machine learning thing was pretty big. It was big enough to justify the upgrade, in my opinion, because I was just showing you one, two, three photos, but I edit like hundreds. There's 234 photos in here. Can you imagine waiting 234 times, however many seconds that took compared to this, which was basically instant. But in saying that, the test that I did was a very specific test to what I do. Not everyone is a photographer. Not everyone uses Lightroom. Not everyone uses the iPad like I do. But in terms of everything else, whether it's teleprompting, browsing, uh, project management, you know, using it as a second monitor and all that stuff, it's absolutely perfect. There are people out there who have completely ditched their laptops in favor of an iPad Pro workflow. For me, it's all about what can get the job done better and faster. The laptop still has its place and probably will never be replaced by an iPad unless we see true macOS running on it. This is an epic tool for creatives. I need it to run my business, run this YouTube channel, and to run my kids. I don't think there was a day that went by when I didn't use the iPad. To think you can get this for only $670 today is a steal, even for 2023. Just gonna do a quick tutorial for like the noobs. So there's a thing called a stage manager on um, the new iOS 16. The cool thing is you can have up to eight apps from memory on the screen at the same time. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, first thing you wanna do is you wanna pull down here and there's a thing called stage manager here. So you can just turn that on. And so if you click, press and hold that, you can have the dock and the side thing open at all times. So if I open, for example, let's open the Safari and you see on the side, I can switch between different stages, right? And the cool thing here is like, for example, this, this page I can tweak, by the way, I can tweak the size of all of this. Um, and I can like, just for example, open up a new one. And if you make them a bit bigger like that, then the dock goes away, but I like having the dock on there at the same time. And yeah, and how cool is this? And so I want all my chat apps on one stage. I wanna have my photo editing on another stage. You hold shift and you press that button and then it'll bring from the stage into here. And the thing is, it's quite fast in terms of snapping. So you can just, if you want to make it half screen, you just make it half screen. You can get rid of the dock and make it a bit bigger. Someone sends you a message and you would just want to go straight to the app. You can just open the, for example, the message app and you'll turn into that. It will change into that stage, if that makes sense. And if I want to go back to Notion, it'll turn back into that stage. So that's kind of cool. Oh, am I? Can you see this? Yes. Wait, come on. Papa! 
This is part of your <laughs> yes. class? Yes. 